here we have the the one from my bus and this is the second hand one um, the good news is although there's wires dangling off it in the picture when you get up close has actually got the same plug as uh, my existing one um, you can see that on mine the wires here all look in better condition than on this uh, here in particular this red wire the insulation is actually flaked off it doesn't look burnt but uh, that could easily short out against the frame so I'm going to take it apart also the other thing is all the uh, the drive mechanism here seems a bit seized whereas mine moves quite freely so I may actually end up building up this with just a new central spindle taken from the old one assuming that the internal design is uh, the same but we'll find out now so we'll build a good one from the, the bits of both basically I assumed that this would be done up extremely tight but actually it's not it undoes quite easily so uh, that's a good start and um, once you've taken it off um, this actually lifts off pretty easily again I thought it would be incredibly tight fit and there you go so I've removed the cover plate and the, it has these wipers on the bottom um, and all you do is um, there's no circlips or anything like that on this side um, literally you just give it a push like that and it comes out like that and uh, well this one at least is fixed to the shaft which is good so we should be able to rebuild the old one just using this new part this one was a little bit tougher to uh, get the shaft off so I basically uh, supported it on some wood and just gave it a tap like that with a hammer and it uh, came free so here you can see that the uh, drive system is now free we can just push the shaft through and uh, slides out there there we go So I've put the cover back on, uh, these three screws are all the same length, just to note that one is short, shorter than the rest, that one is slightly longer than the others, they're not all the same size. Right, the next problem we've got is <coughs> um, I can't clamp this on until I know that this is in the parked position because we've put the spindle back in but we don't know where we are. Uh, so I need to basically power the wipers with the spindle detached from this arm um, and switch them off again and hopefully it'll go into the park position and then at that point I bolt it on. At least I think that's what I've got to do. So I'm going to take the motor off completely so we can just stick it on the dashboard, plug it in and try to get it into the park position. So the motor's off. Um, I've put this cable tied tightly around the shaft and cut it short so that when I um, connect up the motor to this plug and switch on the wipers um, we should see it moving, at least doing something. Um, so it gives me a better idea of, of whether it's going back into the park position each time I cut the power. Okay I've got the motor suspended, plugged in, suspended from top of the dash by a cable tie. Um, see if we can illuminate it better. Right, and then we're going to turn on the ignition and then we're going to turn on the wipers and turn the wipers off again and see if it goes back to the park position. That's the key to all this. So ignition on, wipers on, back to park. Right, that's the park position, so that's what we need to know. So this is good, we're doing alright. So this is where it gets a bit easy to become confused. So I've laid this out. This is the way, this is looking from the front of the bus. Here are the spindles pointing forwards at each end. Uh, the motor is the right way round. It would actually be bolted behind this. So it would be there, like that. And I've marked on the motor which way 
it rotates and I've also marked here which way it rotates so it's going that way so when it's parked we want our wiper which I've represented here with another cable tie to be in that position and when we turn it on again which means the motor will start to go that way we don't want this to go any further down we want it to come back up so if you look at this you actually want it when it's parked to be there so as soon as you turn the motor on again it starts to go this way and the wipers start to come up okay so we know we've got the motor in the park position so we're going to bolt the motor back in and then we're going to bolt the shaft on this bit in that position there like that and then in theory uh, it should all work because uh, what we don't want to do is turn it on and the wipers rip themselves off get stuck and then this breaks off the new one does inside the motor and you just end up with chaos so slow and methodical is the uh, way forward I think but I'm just bolting the motor back on there we are that's how it would look from the other side okay and we'll just tighten these up then we'll fix this uh, shaft on in the correct position that we just mentioned earlier I've bolted this on like I said earlier onto here um, so that as soon as it starts to turn um, this will start coming back this way so the wipers will start coming up not going further down and smashing into the bodywork um, I'm not sure how tightly to do this up on both this one and the old one um, it wasn't done up particularly tight so I don't want to break anything so I've done it up just kind of medium tightness but uh, we'll hope for the best now it's all done it's ready to go back into the bus now um, I've also lubricated all these little joints here and I've also lubricated the shafts the drive shafts because uh, it won't be easy to get at them again what I would suggest is as you uh, push it through from behind um, you've got to get them the spindles through these rubber grommets both sides here I've pulled it through and put a nut on um, I would suggest having a second person so on the other side on the front side so as soon as the tip comes through like this you can just grab it like that and get it through don't squeeze too hard otherwise you damage the threads okay and get the washer and the nut on before um, it all just falls back inside so these, these are loosely done up now here and here so they're not going to drop back through um, so we need to check inside now that there's no trap wires or uh, anything like that um, that are going to get cause you trouble when you do these up more tightly so when you slide this assembly this whole assembly back in from this side um, you've got to make sure you don't foul the wires for this plug um, which I need to watch because they are actually a little bit trapped at the minute um, the other thing is on the far side there's also one of these it's the hose to the washer jet so as you're sliding it in the far end as you're going along it it fouls on the hose to the washer jet and if you push too hard you'll just rip it all off so you've just got to look through the glove box hole and jiggle it around and do it by feel and just get it through the hole in the bulkhead like like this one here um, yeah and just take your time so you don't cause any damage and as I said someone on the outside grab the spindles as they come through and get a nut loosely put on stop it falling all back inside so everything's loosely in and I've put the plug back on here so and I've tidied up the wiring so let's just check that it does still work and it does go back to park so ignition on okay and to park park yeah that looks that looks um, how it should <laughs> good now we'll tighten up the spindles on the outside these are 17 mil so we'll just gently do them up and then we'll do another test uh, these go on next see they should just fit over the oh, something like that 
the next step is to fit the wipers. Now, call me paranoid, I know, but we absolutely have to be sure they're in the park position so that when we turn the wipers on, we don't want it to go further down before they come up. Otherwise, I'll hit the bodywork and something will snap inside. So we put a cable tie on the shaft of each of these and then we turn on the ignition. Good. Yeah, and now we switch it off to go to park. Right, that is definitely park. And we go on again and they shouldn't go down anymore before they come up. Yeah, that's fine. They come straight up. That's park. Okay. So I've done these up here, 10 mil. Uh, just being paranoid, I've left just a little bit of room there for it to just come down a little bit more before it goes up, just so it doesn't hit the edge of the window and cause stress on the linkages. I'm going to do the same with this one. People say on some of the forums not to just not to use the windscreen wipers at all with the window dry, so I've wet the window for our next test to see if they work. Ignition on, wipers on. I'm not hitting anything. I'll do. Excellent, excellent. So the next thing to do is, have they parked in the right place? Yes, yes, they're not hitting the window frame. Next thing, cup of tea, and then come back and put the radio back in, glove box back in, and put all the wiring back together for the radio. And then we're done. Ah, oh, well, that's better now. Next thing, I've got to put all that ducting for the demister system uh, back together. To my surprise, um, this has gone back on here. This little Y-shaped piece here, it's gone back onto here just as a push fit. And then, hang on, there's a join sorry, here between the upper Y piece to the dashboard vents and this left-hand branch. Um, again, it's just slides over it. So basically you wiggle it up uh, until these come through and then the sides of the plastic uh, ducting just clip over the hole in the metal here, like that. And then you uh, put the cover on. So I've done the left side. Uh, you see how it slowly slides on? I'm trying to line these up with the holes. On. The radio is now in. So if you remember the glove box liner went in like this um, and there's a hook at the top. There. I don't know if you can see that but I've hooked it on. The little screw under here that locates the strap. Um, you can do it up by feel. Just here. One last small thing is these little caps, which is supposed to fit on here. Oh, my goodness, they actually do. There is one more final job that might be worth doing, and that is if I mail this and this to uh, a guy who I think is in Ontario. He'll make a brass insert for this uh, gear, which takes this and fixes them together in a much better way than just bonding them. Um, which means if the wiper mechanism goes again, which it might do, because after all, I've, I'm, I'm using the same uh, sort of weak system. It's just the one I've used hasn't actually broken yet. Um, I've then got a spare component and I've also got these other spare parts here, which I can use to, to get a working wiper system again, um, should it break in the future.